Hello, this is Dante Matthews from the Super Zyrus channel. I wanted to talk about the best moment of the year. The best moment of the year for me, it wasn't the um wasn't the Batman vs. Superman movie. It wasn't any movie at all. It was the W E B N fireworks. The fireworks were breathtakingly beautiful. They looked absolutely amazing. I had a great night, but I'm going to tell you all the bad shit that happened first. Alrighty. So, WB and fireworks. One, my mom was going crazy trying to get me, trying to drop me off as close to the, um, to the, um, basically to where I needed to be because I was going to meet up with some friends my friend LT and and my friend Stella they were already there they've been there since like 12 or something 12 p.m. and and just to save seats and they were nice enough to save a seat for me and they were right in front of the fireworks I mean it was the best spot to be sitting in to see the WEB and fireworks or Labor Day fireworks whatever you want to call it so my mom she had so much difficulty trying to drive through traffic cuz traffic was a nightmare so she dropped me off by the baseball stadium I didn't realize that oh I had to walk all the way to where Serpentine Wall is pretty much and cuz like there was like this stage area well, anyways, I began walking, and it took me a minute, but I got there. I, I text Stella to tell her that I'm, I'm here, I'm in downtown, and I'm on my way. It took me 20 minutes just to find them, because there were so many people. It was difficult to get through. People were sitting where they're not supposed to be, which is on the actual stairway. Cause like there are the steps where you can sit and watch the fireworks, and then there's the stairway for people to go down and up. And people were just sitting there, like it wasn't a big deal. And I'm just like, hey, wait a second, this is the stairway. How can people go up and down with you know when everyone's blocking it with their stupid asses? Well, anyways, it took me a minute, but I was able to. Um, I was able to find her. She said, oh, we're right by the Channel 5 News van. And I'm just like, well, where the hell is that? <laughs> well, anyways, it took me a minute. I found them. I um, I saw, the, like they said, they were, they were right in front of the, um, they were right in front of the WEBN stage. And on my way to her I saw the Kiss FM stage and I'm like hell yeah and they have a wallet I could watch the WB and fireworks and you know charge my laptop because I use my laptop everywhere I'm just one of those people well anyways I was I I found her and in the nick of time and I got to watch the beautiful fireworks well anyways her um her niece or nephew or whatever they left um, before the entire thing was over over like before it was completely over because I guess they had to go home or something well anyways her, um, after the fireworks like literally a couple minutes later um, she got a text from her niece saying that there was a shooting in downtown and the shooting took place not too far away from where we were at because we were at I think I want to say Broadway Street or somewhere near there. Well, anyways, um, the shooting took place downtown, right by where the WEB and fireworks were held. And I'm just thinking, why are all the people running? Because we were going to wait for them to leave, and then we were going to leave. You know, after everyone else has completely left. Well. Everyone was just running, and then she got the text message. So after everyone left, then she got the text message, and then she got worried. Well, anyways, turns out they were fine, which is good, and that it was some teenager that got shot, so it wasn't anyone important. I'm an asshole, and it's great.
<laughs> it's great that I'm an asshole. Well, anyways, um, so, yeah, pretty much some teenager got shot, and and everyone was freaking out because people were bringing their kids to the fireworks. People were, there were, people's in, there were people that were in wheelchairs. There were, um... There were people that were that ha that were watching the fireworks in the parking lot right by the river. And so everything was in a panic. And yeah, that's pretty much that was pretty much like it's like the the shooting kind of ruined the event in a way, but I try to stay positive and I just can't wait for the um I can't wait to go to the WME of fireworks next year. Like I think I called my mom to tell her that I'm hanging out with friends still. Cause after um LT and Stella um were basically catching the cab home, I went to hang out with my friend Brandon and we were gonna play Pokemon Go. By the way, my friends are obsessed with that game. But um yeah so I met up with them and on my way, I called my mom to tell her that everything's fine and that I have a ride home and so on and so forth. Then my girlfriend calls me and I'm just like, oh, crap. <laughs> um, well, she didn't want me to go to the fireworks in the first place. She didn't want to go to the fireworks. And she just said, oh, I have this bad feeling. I'm just like thinking, like, I don't care. You know I don't care. I was going to go anyways. So, um, then she said that um, there was a shooting. There were four shootings or something. And I'm just like, oh, crap. I'm never going to hear the end of this. And so, um, but basically, I told her I was fine and that she was overreacting. And then she got mad at me. And, well, anyways, I love her to death. So, eh. If I had to pick between getting shot and getting yelled at by her, I think I'd have better chances with the shooter. I'm an asshole, and it's great. Um, so I told her that, you know, I'm fine and everything. And and then after that, um, I went to go hang out with my friends, met up with them. We played Pokemon Go. And one of my friends, he... He found, oh my god, this guy is like one of my favorite people now. He found a, he found some ice cubes. And we had like an ice cube fight, throwing ice cubes at one another. And, and we also found food. There was like literally a bag of popcorn in the trash. And it was like perfectly sealed. Like it still had like the little, little, not styrofoam, the little, um, the little twist tie thing you know, that you would see on a loaf of bread, a little twist type thing. So it was unopened popcorn, and and he was just eating it, and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I'm cracking up laughing. And he found a pizza box, and it, had, it only had one, I think it only had one slice of pizza missing. It was cold pizza, but he was hungry, and some of my other friends ate some, and I'm just... I was just dying laughing. I'm just like, wow, this is one hell of a scavenger hunt, you know? And we were just playing Pokemon Go. So a lot of great things happened that night. Damn shame I didn't find some cake there. I would have ate the fuck out of that. Well, anyways, basically, despite the bad things that happened, you know, W E M fireworks were great, and it was worth going. So... If so, when someone tells you that, oh, downtown is too dangerous, blah, blah, and whatever, i seen, like, literally six police officers just walking from where the uh, where I was sitting to meet up with my friends because my friends were by the baseball stadium where my mom had dropped me off by. So I had to walk from the stairs all the way down by the river to the um, baseball stadium. And... Yeah, it was very, very interesting. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I had a great time. I just, I'm just glad I went. I would have really missed out on something great if I had stayed home. But, oh, and by the way, don't ever listen to your girlfriend because she's always wrong. Hey, this is my YouTube channel. 
I can say someone's wrong if I feel like, well, everyone's wrong. Everyone who doesn't agree with me is automatically wrong. So that's, I just wanted to speak my mind. Um, oh, another fun, funny story. This happened during the Ice Cube fight. Okay, so my friend Brandon, he, um, he has this nephew, this teenage dude, and, and basically, um, so during the Ice Cube fight, he, um, one of my friends, he threw an Ice Cube at, um, and then he started running after Brandon's nephew, and and let me tell you, this was this was some shit that ha ha seems like it would have happened out of a Looney Tunes cartoon. The dude he ran straight into a chain. You know how like they have like um, they have like two metal poles, and then they have a chain going through them. He ran straight into the chain, and it fucked up his hand. But it it looked like it was some shit that would happen only in a Looney Tunes cartoon or some type of comical animated cartoon like Family Guy or something. It just didn't seem it just didn't look realistic. It was so hilarious, like the type of thing you would watch on an episode of Jackass or something like that. But it 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 was just it was too funny. I mean, like he hurt his hand, but other than that, he was fine. And yeah, it was it was a great night. I had a great time. I wish that I had my girlfriend with me because I think she would have loved to have seen the fireworks that as close as I was sitting. And yeah, she was worried about me, and I understand that. And I and I do have respect for her feelings, even though she's wrong a hundred percent of the time. Please subscribe to my channel. My name's Dante Matthews. This is the Super Cyrus channel. Over and out. Have a great year. I doubt I'll be making. Well, I might make a few more videos this year. Peace.